This is Apocrypha. Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Channel Skyrim and the final quest for the Dragonborn DLC main storyline at the summit of Apocrypha. In order for us to gain the final word of uh, power of the Ben Will shout, Storm Cragstrider sacrificed himself to Hermaeus Mora. So we have to make that sacrifice worthwhile and kick the living snots out of Mirak. Okay, to business. Let's crack on. Okay, I'm going to be doing this uh, in one hit, the Black Book and the actual fight at the uh, Summit of Apocrypha. So it's going to be a longer than normal video. And as you should know by now, um, you read your book to uh, get access to Apocrypha. Uh, once this is done, I'll be staying in Solstein for a bit more to get the rest of the Black Books. Um, I'm also going to go after uh, some more enchanted items and I'll probably be doing my end game armor in here as well. Um, so, but when I go back to Skyrim, let me know what quest line you want me to do. So I think I've got the College of Winterhold to do, the Dark Brotherhood, the Civil War uh, and Dawnguard, the Dawnguard DLC. So uh, just let me know uh, in the comments below uh, what you want me to do and if enough people want me to do something, I'll, I'll do that. Anyway, cracking on, pick up a little bit of uh, chump change around here. Those little pods, um, or these little pods here, uh, don't hold great loot. But I kind of go for them because they quite often have rare books. And as you know by now, that's my thing. Yeah, take those, why not? Okay, down to business. I'll come prepared for like a, a decent fight as well, by the way, guys. Okay, this goes through a whole load of uh, uh, little mini, mini tasks. So read the first book. I'll quick save often here, guys, because uh, it's ever so easy to get turned around and uh, lost. Now I'm going to be doing a fair bit of looting around here. Uh, show you guys where you can pick stuff up. Okay, let's get a few seekers around here. There's one little buggers. Good night. Okay, Smith and Skill book. Nom nom. It's always a little uh, pod down here. Oh, that might be quite interesting. Okay, coming round. He pops out of nowhere. Gotcha. Oh, he snide little kit. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, they did me some damage. My magic resistance is really high, so uh, they don't bother me too much. Okay, onwards and upwards. A little pod. Got that already. And the next book. Oh, sorry, yeah, you take that book. Yeah, you need to collect um, a load of books for a puzzle at the end. Uh, which obviously I'll show you how to do. Okay. And read this one. Uh, 
Okay, that's the door you want to get opened. And there's a seeker just here. Take him out. Clairvoyance. That's a spell that's always really good in principle. Doesn't seem to work that well. Um, every time I've got lost in a dungeon and use it, it, it kind of hasn't taken me out. Oh, there's one. Where are you, little sod? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Nearly backdoored me. Uh, yep, that'll do. Lovely. And don't forget, these scrolls will weigh very little and they sell for reasonable money. A skill book. Okay. Take this one. Oh, no, before we go, there's a little pod down here. Don't forget that. Uh, now, if you ever see that Death Brand book, whatever you do, grab it and read it, because I'll be doing a video very, very shortly about the Death Brand armour. It's an excellent uh, unique armour set. Okay, because we've got that now, the uh, door's open, hit the scry. And just run through. Enchanting skill book. So I'm getting skill books um, on uh, everything I'm at 100 in already. So they, they obviously don't work for me. Okay, there's a few seekers around here, so watch yourself. I haven't got that, I don't think. Activate the scry. And come all the way down here. It's the next book we have to grab. Okay. Cry knobs, nom nom. Okay. And if you see opposite, you've got like a a chest. Now these hold decent loot. These definitely worth are, are definitely worth grabbing. Winners. I think I've got that already. By the way, for some of you guys, it may be worthwhile grabbing. Or you get, obviously get different loot in there anyway, so. Okay, onwards and upwards. I was sure there's a couple of seekers in there when I did my uh, practice run. Okay, on to the next chapter. Okay, let's just uh, read this book and take this up to the next level. Now, I'm doing it this way, um, a complete uh, walkthrough, not cutting anything out. So if you get lost now, you can always come back to this video and find out where you are. I'm not sure if I like this um, apocrypha, to be honest with you. But we've got to do it. Oh, oh, wasn't expecting it. Oh, two of them. Make sure you get the right one before they split in two. Okay, take that book. Yeah, haven't got that one. 
What else we got there? Got that one already. Elemental flare, what he got there? Last Mark Gunny made, we always want them. Nom nom. Okay. Yeah, you hook a left up here. There's always a pod. And to be fair, in this one, it is um, worthwhile doing because I don't think you can actually get back to this part of Apocrypha if um, once we've completed this. I think if we read the book again, we're taken back to the summit. So, uh, okay. Okay, that's the third book. Had to find our way out. It's down here. Like I said, it's so easy to get turned around in there. And the problem is you don't have that many visual clues. Okay, take that. Okay, that'll start to come back towards you run down here that'll start to come back towards you and then run back down to where you come from and as you can see it's spinning and that'll open up the next uh, gateway for you it took me ages to work that out <laughs> absolutely ages because it's not obvious anyway here we are Nommy nommy scrolls. Little pod. Nom nom. Got that. Got that. Ah, yeah, well taken to sell. And we've been seen. I can hear it. Okay. There you go. That's the uh, way out. Good night. Okay. Already got them, I think. It's showing enemies, but I can't see any. You can see the red dots up there. Ah, oh, sorry, I can't wait forever. Let's just crack on. They're probably behind the wall somewhere, so they won't be able to affect us. Okay. Yeah, if you get close to the uh, little bench here, or altar, you, the, the tentacles won't be able to get you. I hope. Okay. Okay, a few more books I haven't got. Lovely, nom nom. Now I'm sure I've got that one. Okay, so. 
That's it, so you come down here and the wall automatically opens for you. Don't forget to grab these scrolls though. Oh, I did want that one, that one. And, oh. For some weird reason, the game keeps on equipping my shock arrows. I had a uh, different arrow equipped, and I don't like to waste those because they're pretty expensive to make. Yeah, let's go back onto those. Okay, nom nom. I was thinking I got turned around there for a second. Oh no. I think the idea is you generally want to be moving up and hit the sprite. And you can see it moving just down there to the left. So that's our next uh, way out. So if you ever do get lost guys, you can come back here and you can find your way uh, with no problem. And we're going to hit our first lurker just around the corner here. Just activate him. Here he goes. Oh, he's like a vindicator, and we got him paralyzed. Good night. Always worth losing these guys. Extreme conjuration. Nom nom. I'm desperately trying to get my destruction but up to 60. Okay, hit that scry there, run around here. And we get a nice little pod. Nom nom. Frost throw. Conjure Seeker, we've already got that. And what have we got here? Ice Ray, something, yeah. Yeah, I'll take these. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I want to hit this sprite here. 
and opens those uh, doors that you saw opening there. And read the book. It's just a long old one, this one, isn't it? It's not particularly hard, it's very uh, lengthy. Okay, this is where you hit the puzzle. And you can see a couple of seekers. Good night. Okay, so what we've got to do is put one of the books we collected onto each one of these podiums. So, gnashing blades on that one. As you can see, it looked like teeth. So the clue is gnashing blades. Or oh, where are you? Oh, I'm getting... Come on, come on, that's him. Oh, you're ganging up on me. Good night. Okay, lovely. Yeah, if you want to get your magic resistance really high, um, first of all, I always play as a Breston anyway, which gives you enhanced uh, magic resistance. Um, you can also do a quest called the Book of Love. Now, it's one of my older videos, um, but it's really good. It's in three parts. You can see it in my Skyrim walkthroughs. I really, really, really suggest uh, you do that uh, quest line. It also grants you like certain favours um, in further quests further down the line, so definitely worth doing. And I think it raises your magic resistance by 15%. So, anyway, you look at that. So that's going to be the prying orbs, because it looks like an eye. Okay. Another little pod. Nom nom. Got all those books. This one, tentacles, so it's going to be boneless limbs. It's not exactly difficult, to be fair, is it? Oh, those sneakers remains. What we got? Cat Skyrim. Okay, Oak Flesh. Don't know if I've got that one. I think I might pick that up in a, another quest just recently. Anyway, so here we are. Look at the picture. And we've only got one left anyway. Delving pincers. But you can see by the picture what it's meant to be. So what I do now is. Run around here and open the book. And that's that puzzle solved. Okay. Got all them. Another skill book. Destruction. Oh, good. I've got to get one more I need. And I'll tell you why I need that in another video. But uh, I need destruction up to 60. Okay, guys, now we come up to the uh, the meats and potatoes of this quest. Now, make sure you come loaded for bear, because you've got one hell of a fight uh, uh, coming up. Um, so now you pass through that door, it closes behind you. No way out, no return. Uh, obviously, unless you do it through saves. Uh, take out these two seekers. Uh, the moment you read the word, or get the word on the word wall, um, you'll be attacked by a pretty powerful dragon. So have make sure you have your bend wheel shout 
hot cade. I got that. Where's the other one? There you go. Nom nom. That's the one quest I won't be doing, by the way. The Bahia, whatever her name is. Uh, Bahithia uh, quest. I just don't like that one. Okay. Grab your dragon aspect shell. Right. Just quickly hit him. That's it. Okay. Now you can go dragon riding. What he's going to do is going to fly you around a few places where um, you can practice actually uh, using him because you can use magic spells when you're on his back. You can't actually. Um, fry him. But Bethesda really made a balls up of this. This could have been such a fantastic part of the game, they really cocked it up. Um, which is a shame. So anyway, what he's going to do is going to fly around this little area here. Um, you've got no control, but you can, like I say, point the target, you can get him to land and, and fight with you on the ground, etc, etc. Um, uh, but if you don't want to do that, all you do is just basically hit your E button to land and he'll take you off uh, to the summit of Apocrypha. Okay. Okay. So what I say, you can practice with the guy on, on here, it's quite good. But I hit the E button and he's now taking me up to the summit. And get ready. Now, this guy is tough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Flame Atronax uh, because they're mobile and they can hit him from uh, a range. Now, you're going to have to kill him four times. You're also going to have to take on uh, dragons. And the dragon that you just flew on, uh, I think his name is Saratar, uh, will be helping you. Okay. So, as soon as he goes into combat mode, open up on him. I don't think so, Mr. Mirac. And be master of my own fate once again. I'm going to have your nest stapled to my front door. Yes, yeah, so, so they're attacking him straight away. They'd also distract him. Yeah, you've got to get his health down to a certain point. There you go. Now he'll vamoosh off. You can't actually kill him at that point. So you're going to have dragons landing, so you've got to take them on. Saratar will be helping you. Okay, he's come back again, so hit him. Get some, get. So as soon as you hit him, he, he legs it out of there. Damn yeah, come on. Come on, stay still, you little shit. <laughs> gotcha. These Saratars come to give you a hand. Yep, he's gone again. And it's a real shame. I try to save Saratar every single time, but Mirak kills him. Uh, there's no way to save him, which is a real shame. Okay. Is that the fourth time? 
Yeah, that's gonna be the theory comes. Get to there you go, job done. To escape me, Mirak. You can hide nothing from me here. So we're seeing the true face of Emmaus Mora. No matter. I have found a new dragon born to serve me. <laughs> May she be rewarded for her service as I am. <sighs> Mira, harbor fantasies of <laughs> rebellion against me. Learn from the easy example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. Okay, so you actually get all his dragon souls that he absorbed during the fight. Um, so you've got plenty of dragon souls now. There you go. Absolutely loads. Okay, so we rob him. Got his mask, increases his magic by 70 points. Uh, add 5% to the dragon breast and spell absorption of Mirax robes. And blah 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 blah. Um, to be absolutely honest with you, um, I'll never use these, uh, but they're going to look good on one of the mannequins in my home. So, Mirak Sword. And, but his staff may be useful, actually, out of everything here, that, that may be useful. Okay, so job done. So, what we really get now is the real prize. Now, you can run around and lose all the dragons, um, they've all got a fair amount of gold. Where we got there? 159. Yeah, Ruby. Nom nom. Okay, 260. So you're picking up some decent gold here, guys. Um, I had a real hunt around. There's no. Uh, there's no chests of gold. So, okay, let's have a quick look at the book. Okay, at first I wasn't impressed with the power being offered and I didn't really understand how good this is until I thought about it for a little bit. So the Black Book Waking Dreams allow you, allows you to reset all the perks in an individual skill tree and redistribute them wherever you may wish at the cost of one Dragon Soul per use. Now on the surface this doesn't really seem great, but what it does uh, allow you to do is clean up your skill tree and make your character the best it can be in that particular role you've chosen or indeed reinvent your character completely. Now another little perk is that you can come back as often as you like so a silly example would be you can take all your perks out of alchemy and put them in smithing. Once you finish smithing uh, and want to make some potions you can take the perk points out of smithing and put them back into alchemy and so on. Uh, and don't forget to combine these with some other effects offered by other black books like the Cellar Region. Now you have to come back uh, here each time you do it uh, at the cost of one dragon soul so don't forget that. Um, what I will be doing is an end game weapon and armor video soon and I'll show you all this in, in action so hopefully that'll make it a little bit clearer. Um, anyway we've got some bad news to give in uh, Soul's time so we better go back and do that. Well not bad news, some news. Okay now I'll just do this example in 2020 hindsight I probably don't want to take them out of uh, uh, speech because I like the merchant's perk it's uh, so handy. Okay, to go back to Solstheim, just uh, read the book again or click on the plinth and that'll take you back. Yeah, so we've got to go and see Freya and uh, tell her what the story is. I mean, her father did sacrifice himself, so uh, that's the least we can do. And there she is. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean... Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? It's over. Mirak is dead. My father's sacrifice. It was not in vain. He died to free us. Tell me, was it the only way? Did he need to die? 
Hermias Mora kills Thorn, remember? Not Mirak. I know. The Skull will not forget this. Storm's death will become another of the many tales of Hermamora's treachery. <clears throat> One more thing, Skull friend. If you will. I know it is not my place, but... May I offer a word of advice? A warning? Sure, what is it? As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. Okay, guys, that's it. We've revenged Dawn, we've killed Mirak, and we've completed the uh, main quest line in the Dragonborn DLC. Now, there's going to be a few bits and bobs that I'll be doing in Solstheim, um, and a lot of it's got to do with Storm, but there's a few more Black Books that I want to get, um, another few uh, unique items before I return to Skyrim. And as I said before, please, please, guys, um, let me know what storyline of Skyrim you want me to do, be it the Dragon, sorry, the College. Um, the Dark Brotherhood, Civil War, or Dawnguard. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.